powerful illuminated cabal have used every trick in the book to hide facts and confuse the public into fear and submission and to stop you from knowing the real agendas of the world. Over two million people in the United States alone have been kidnapped and mind controlled. Some were born into the roles they were given to play in society. Some victims are mind controlled into thinking they have been abducted by aliens or reptilians. Other victims are used as fronts to head groups like researchers, channelers, new age gurus, alien contactees, just to name a few of the misleading truthers. There are also government and private trolls setting up blogs and websites to discredit whistleblowers and real true researchers. These trolls put out hoax photos to discredit real findings and change public opinion. The rest of the population are easily controlled through every type of media, education, politics and religious movements. This includes third-party opinion makers and so-called truth movements which deliberately mix 70% facts and 30% lies to confuse and lead the half-awakened public in directions they wish them to follow. This is all child's play for this controlling group who know the secret of reality. No, you will know every secret. Watch The Holographic Disclosure Series 1-7 to release soon on YouTube. The pieces of the jigsaw puzzle must be understood to come together. They're planning something big. In fact, so big it will affect everyone on the planet. But first, we need to look into our past, our real past. Let's clear the air on this shape-shifting reptilian garbage. The most primitive and ultimately dominant part of our brain is the reptilian brain. Me first and everything else next. The most powerful and ruthless leaders on this planet think in reptilian terms, making David Icke's claim that we are ruled by reptilians a useful metaphor. The elite cabal empowered the reptilian brain through generations of interbreeding that is why they have no empathy for some of their actions. Re, R-E, is the prefix of the word reptile and is used in the normal form or reversed E-R frequently. This is to establish the message very subliminally that the reptilian brained group entity is in control. There is no such thing as an actual real reptilian race running the world come here from another planet there is only a reptilian brain cabal using the thought process, which has placed the whole of humanity into a deep and confused trance state. Of course, the purpose of having a smokescreen cover story, such as the reptilian race, is to draw attention from the real agenda, which is far more sinister, as we will see later on. The symbolism of the serpent and its association with ancient gods abounds many forms, including bears, fish, eagles, and so on. But the one which is of most interest is the serpent, lizard forms depicted from time to time. This is in reference to the ancient stories passed down from generation to generation 
in regards to the serpent gods and serpent kings. It's these serpent entities that have been rendered down through history, that have been used as a front to instill the belief in a serpent race from other planets who run the world and who will ultimately seek to control it completely. In reality, of course, this is just a suggestion attached to the hypnotic trance state and those who are deeply entranced by this suggestion seek to perpetuate the myth of a serpent race, not realizing for a moment that it's they themselves who are establishing the illusory reality that will include some form of serpent-minded or Luciferian thought process based ruling elite. Anunnaki Mythology Interesting to note, illuminated member who was born in Baku, Russia and raised in pre-state Israel interpreted these ancient writings which is a language called cuneiform. Many other scholars now know how to read cuneiform and there is a lot of discrepancies between them, especially time readings. Towards the ends of Stitchin's life, he wanted to avoid the reptilian Anunnaki topic altogether after admitting he could have possibly misinterpreted some of the writings. <laughs>